Happy day to all. This is Nivedita, founder of Sri Ahana Physiotherapy Academy. Our today's topic is going to be types of muscle action. We will see types of muscle action in terms of muscle contraction. So these muscle contractions are classified as isotonic contractions and dynamic contractions. In isotonic kind of contractions, as the name suggests, it means equal tone. When you do the action, the tone is going to be equal. These kind of actions are quite rare in human body. When you talk about dynamic contractions, as the name suggests, we know that some movement is going to occur here. So in dynamic contractions, we have the concentric type of contraction and the eccentric type of contraction. In concentric type of contraction, the muscle will become shortened and in the eccentric type of contraction, the muscle will become lengthened. So now there is one more type of contraction called the isometric contraction. By the name it means equal length. So when this muscle contraction occurs, when this isometric kind of muscle contraction occurs, the length of the muscle will not change. When the muscle fiber is activated in an isometric contraction, what happens is the sarcomere length will remain unchanged. So in this type of isometric contraction, there is no work done because there is no movement going to occur in an isometric contraction. Now with an example, I will show you what an isometric contraction will be. So with the help of this sandbag, I will demonstrate to you. I am holding this sandbag in a constant position. I am not moving my hand anywhere. Now what happens is there is a tension that develops in my biceps because of the isometric contraction that is happening. See the biceps is not changing in its length because I am just holding the object. There is no movement at all. The next type of contraction is the concentric type of contraction. In a concentric type of contraction, when the muscle fiber is activated, the sarcomere unit, it shortens in length. So here movement occurs and the bones to which the muscles are attached, they get approximated. That is, they come close together. So here I have an example of the elbow flexion. So the common example. Now I try to flex my elbow. See what happens. These bones are getting approximated. The joint angle is changing. Okay, so now for uh, easy understanding, I am placing two points A and B on my biceps. Now when I flex my elbow, see what happens. The distance between A and B is getting shortened. It means that the muscle is shortening here. So in concentric type of contraction, a positive work is being done by the muscle. Now the next type of contraction will be the eccentric type of contraction. In an eccentric type of contraction, when the muscle fiber is activated, the sarcomere unit gets lengthened. So now I'll demonstrate to you what is an eccentric contraction with the help of a sandbag. So when I try to hold the sandbag for a long period of time, what happens is the weight pulls my hand down. That is the load is being much heavier than the force that is produced by my muscle. So here what happens is a lengthening occurs at the biceps. That is the bones are moving away from each other. The joint angle is getting more. See what happens. My hand is moving down. So a negative kind of work is being done here by the load on the muscle. So what happens is it stretches the sarcomere unit, putting it to eccentric type of contraction. The next thing that we will have to talk about is the tension that is uh, being present in the muscle during the type of contractions. So what happens is when you do an isometric contraction, the tension that is present in the muscle will be more than that of the concentric type of contraction. When you do an eccentric type of contraction, the tension in the muscle will be more than that of the contractions produced in the concentric type and isometric type. So next talking about the reverse muscle action, there is one more concept. Here when you do normal movements, what happens is the distal segment remains free to move and the proximal segment is fixed. In the reverse muscle action, what happens is the proximal segment will move and the distal segment will remain fixed. For example, let's take uh, the pull-ups exercise being done. So as shown in the picture, you will understand that the distal segment will remain fixed. You will try to hold the bar and the distal segment will remain fixed. And your body will move upward to move the humerus. And uh, again here the type of contraction will be concentric in the biceps. So I hope with these demonstrations, it would have been clear to you. Kindly try all these things and experience on your own to feel what an isometric contraction will be like 
and what an uh, concentric and eccentric contraction will be like thank you